So where are we now? Animal Kingdom, heading back to our safari. We got an English map this time. We did, we can read our map. I think we're gonna make it. I hope so. About 5,000 left out in the wild. And that is all due to poaching. These animals do not have any other natural predators other than us humans, meaning poaching is the sole reason they're so endangered. All right, folks, we are now heading down to the South River at the end of this course. We can almost always spot some of our crocodiles down there. And typically we find some hippos as well. Now hippos will most likely be in the water. That's where they like to spend most of their days. Their water and rice after all. Now, if you look over towards the right as we come down this hill, you can catch a glimpse of those two. Pretty similar in the water. Well, folks, but I do need everyone to stay seated. We're going to try to find some up ahead on the left as well, folks. Don't fret. Now, the hippos are able to hold their breath for about five to eight minutes at a time, which is why we typically always find them in the water. They are excellent swimmers, but most days they kind of just lazily walk along the bottom of the surface. We can see a few more over here towards the left as well. Now, those hippos will eat anywhere from 80 to 90 pounds of vegetation in a single day. I know that sounds like a lot of food, but for a 5,000 pound animal, it's not all that much. And folks, I do need everyone to remain seated back there. All right, folks, and then we can see all these pinkback pelicans over here having a snack. Pinkback pelicans, they'll only get their few feathers during mating season. And since they're still pretty gray and white, that means mating season isn't here quite yet. As these now talk that Alice can crush with weight about 2,000 pounds worth of pressure with their jaws. They can eat up to half of their body weight, and their body weight is typically around 500 pounds. So we're just going to cruise slowly over the bridge, folks. All right, we're now going to head down to the savannah, quite a few of my favorite animals reside there. Some giraffes, some wildebeest, spring back, African wild dogs, just to name a few. We may not see those, we may see other animals, who knows? It's always a crazy time out here on the reserve. But along our way to the savannah, we're going to be stopping by this baobab tree towards the right. Now, baobab trees are also known as the upside down tree, for obvious reasons, so it's quite upside down. Now that tree remains leafless about nine months out of the year. It helps it conserve on water to ensure survival throughout all the seasons, even if there may be a drought. And folks, I'm already seeing quite a few animals out there in the distance. We're definitely going to take the senior group, because I'm sure we'll stumble across a few animals along that way. So I don't want to miss anything. I'm trying to hurry on through. Now there are some giraffes in the distance, and we most certainly will be getting to those giraffes. They're one of my favorites. I would not skip past them. Oh yes, folks, and it's like African wild dogs. Now these dogs are truly, truly beautiful. Their coats give them the nickname the Painted Dog. Those coats are unique to them, no two of them having the same patterns, which helps them identify each other in their packs of anywhere from 5 to 15. Now, while they are very, very beautiful, I do not recommend taking one of these dogs home because they are most certainly wild. They will chase their prey until it literally collapses over from exhaustion. They are just not meant to be domesticated. But they are truly beautiful, all right? And coming up here towards the left, we're going to be seeing some patterns and elands. And you're going to notice the one is very, very large. It's going to be the male. Male patterns and elands make them one of the largest of the antelopes. They come in at about six feet tall just at the shore. And they'll weigh about 2,000 pounds on average. Now, all the animals on the savannah take part in the ecosystem. what type of giraffe they are, if they're, if they're articulated or the Maasai. The ones we're seeing today are the Maasai. You can tell by their spots are a little bit more jagged around the edges. Or articulated have more solid patterns and neater lines. Oh, don't, 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 don't do this. <laughs> Plus, as cute as they are, I don't think anyone wants giraffe kisses. That tongue is about 18 inches long. A very long, sticky kiss. Oh, they are truly, truly beautiful. One of my favorites. Been my favorite since before I worked here too. They're just very curious animals sometimes. When they sleep, they only sleep for about 30 minutes. All right, folks, we're gonna head through an older part of the reserve, see if we can't find some monkeys on our way to Elephant Waters here. I 
actually do see one. If you look on that tallest rock there in between those two branches, you can see the back of a mandrel. The lightness of the ear helps me catch that there. And it looks like it's holding a little baby mandrel there. Now, mandrels are the largest of the monkeys. Jails come in at about 100 pounds. Females will only be about 30, so there is quite a bit of size difference between those two. They have this neat feature of having these little pockets in their cheeks so that they can tuck food in the store for later. And don't worry, folks, that's not going to be the only elephant we're seeing today. We are going to look for a herd up ahead here as well. And the good news is, so it looks like we found that herd. So let's go ahead and get a closer look here. Now, elephants still to this day are suffering from poaching, but they're now also suffering from habitat loss. A lot of the land is being used for farming and mining out here in Africa, leaving elephants with less room to roam, as well as a lot of other animals. Now, elephants, unfortunately, when they do roam in on those farms, they ruin those crops because they are very large, and sometimes they'll eat them. Even farmers use really no choice but to protect, but to protect their livelihood. So conservation efforts decided to get involved, and after a few years of research, they found that elephants, just like us, are afraid of bees. And remember, they can hear those bees up to about a mile away. Allowing farmers to keep their crops safe and even sell the honey from the hives as extra income as well. Now, I mentioned they're still suffering from poaching. In fact, about 96 elephants a day are poached for those beautiful ivory tusks. Oh. Ironically, those tusks are exactly what made them such Next. shavers of Africa. They're able to knock down trees and forests with those tusks, allowing new plant life to grow. Alright, folks, well, it sounds like there is an animal up in the road up ahead, so we're probably going to be holding here for a few moments. To be honest, there's worse places we could be stuck. Having a view of an elephant isn't the baddest place. Alright, folks, so over here towards the left is going to be another animal I'm sure we all recognize, some flamingos. Now, when these flamingos first hatch, they are a gray shade, not this pink color that we see here today. Their pink feathers come in over time from their diet of brine shrimp. That shrimp has an element in it called beta carotene, and that's exactly what turns these animals so pink. Now, lions do like to remain inactive anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day. Their most active hours will be at night. That's when females go hunting for the prey, while the males stay and watch over the area to protect it and protect it. And look at that, we have those white rhinos and little zebras, and that's what we're going to see them a third time as we spin around these shoulders. I'm probably going to plop down for a nap there. Yep. Sounds about right. Cool, cool. Inactive anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day. That's the most activity I'll probably see from that lion all day. <laughs> Now over here towards the right, we can see those rhinos one more time and those zebras. Look at them, no two zebras have the same stripes. Those stripes are very, very unique to them. And if you notice, their noses are black and their hooves are black, which means it is white stripes on black fur. Diet. And we have these two little birds over here. These birds are very, very tough birds. I would never want to be a bird in their world because those birds will eat almost anything to survive, anything from frogs to snakes. Uh, to other small species of birds. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> You're purchasing a fan. <coughs> well, the only fan we have, actually. I instantly knew. <laughs> so, what was our next fast pass? Cali River Rapids. At 11? Something um, or eleven fifty five oh I think. Yeah. And these are super cute. <laughs> Very light. Okay, look for Divine. And where are we? I know. That's awesome. Yeah, she said thank you, Uncle Steve. Oh yeah. I'm back at the um I said, Oh yeah, no problem. And then I thought I should have taken all your glory. Oh, no. So where are we? We're Animal Kingdom. We're in, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a bird viewing area. And I think people can hear. Swooping around. 
that's really cool. Yep. There's I feel like people can hear. I got a lot of pictures of. Yeah. I have a pretty decent Ooh. amount of video. Of the safari. Huh? Of the safari. Yep. Oh. And I got this trying. really awesome fan. Yep. Look at this. Statue. Where? Oh. So we just finished dinner. Oh. Well, it was finished a buffet. dinner. Buffet at the Tusker House. Yep. Yeah. And now we're going to burrito. see uh, Lion the Lion King musical. I believe, Don't right? Tell him it's a musical. You already told him before, <laughs> so he knows it's a musical.
So where are we going now? Um, I want to try and find the egg rolls. Egg roll? Is this yak and yeti? Hello. Oh, I think so. It says. Where are we going next? Um. Well, I mean, I know we're following them, trying to but... Trying some trails. <laughs> okay, yeah. But you're gonna sit that one out, right? And I'm gonna sit. Yeah. Yes. So, the days have come to a close, huh? The day. Yes. I mean, the not day. days. Um, it's 20 to 6. Um... It was a really muggy day today. It wasn't yeah. terribly hot, but it was like 90 some percent. It was a flamingo. Flamingo. So it kind of wiped you out. Yeah. But it was super fun. It wasn't a bad day, though. She's got Chip and Dale on her ears. <laughs> but. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's feet are sore, but. Feet are sore. I'm pretty sure everyone's feet are yeah. feet, not feets. I'm pretty sure sore. everyone's feet is sore. <laughs> um, yeah, so what yeah. was your favorite part? Baba, you say yours first. Okay, my favorite part? Oh, Expedition Everest. That <laughs> was super cool because I'm an old lady. Yeah. And I didn't think I could do rides anymore. It, it was a lot of fun. And the dinosaur is always fun, but it was rougher than I remember. Like, oh, yeah. You back and forth. I would probably say that is my favorite part. Act was my favorite part actually. Dinosaur. Yeah. That was good. The birch, the flight of the birds, or whatever. That was really good. Yeah. Um, I got yeah, most got of it really cool, on video. Cool birds. Well, yeah. Hmm, I think that's it. Yeah.